back to basics. What's slope? Well, slope is how steep a line is. How steep a line is. If I give you a line, slope is going to tell us how steep that line is. The larger the number, the steeper the slope. So, the way we calculate that is a little fraction called rise over run. Positive slopes go up and to the right. Some people might consider that also down and to the left. Negative slopes go up and to the left. Some people might consider that down and to the right. Zero slope is perfectly horizontal. And an undefined slope is a slope of a line that goes up and down. So let's do a few problems. If I'm defined the slope, what I have to do is I have to find the rise over run. So the first thing that you do is determine if it's positive or negative first. This is a positive slope because it's going up and to the right or down and to the left. So positive. Remember that in my head. Positive. Now I'm going to figure out what it takes for me to get from one dot to the next dot. I'm going to rise one. So my slope so far is one and I'm going to go over to the right one, two. So up one over two, one over two. That's it. My slope is positive one over two. Done. Let's do it again. This is going to be a negative slope. So let me see how do I, so I'm going to put negative and that's going to be my fraction bar. I'm going to figure out what it takes to get from one dot to the next dot. And it really doesn't matter which dot you choose, which one you start out with. So I'm going to go up one, two. So my rise is two and I'm going to go over one, two. Hmm. Negative two divided by two. Can I simplify that? Oh yeah. Negative two divided by two is negative one. With these guys, what you're going to want to do is simplify them, but keep them in proper. Simplify the fractions, but keep them in proper. Okay? <gasps> oh, no. I don't have dots. Hmm. Maybe I'll just make them. So let me see. I could put a dot there. And I could put a dot there. Is that positive or negative? Negative. So I'm going to put negative, and here's my fraction bar. What does it take to get from one dot to the next dot? Again, it does not matter which dot you start out with. I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six. So down six over one, two, three, four. Hmm. Negative six over four. Oh, yeah. I can simplify that by dividing both of those numbers by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And it's negative. Simplify it, but keep it improper. There are several dots that I could have put on this graph. I could have put a dot there. Could have put a dot. I could have put a dot there. But those are the two I chose, and that's probably why I didn't get a simplified answer right away. All right, where can I put dots over here? I could put a dot right there. I could put a dot na, 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 there. Positive. So here's my fraction. Up one, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, over one, two, three. And my slope is, as you can see clearly, positive 4 over 3. Simplify it, but keep it improper. So 4 over 3 is like 1.3. Negative 3 over 2 is negative 1.5. So that slope is just a little bit steeper than the one on the right. Okay? The larger the number, the steeper the slope. What if I don't give you a graph, though? If I give you two points instead of a graph, what you're going to do is you're going to label each point, call them x sub 1, subscript, 
y sub 1, call the other point x sub 2, y sub 2. I take those points and I plug them into this formula right here. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So if I'm given two points instead of a graph, I label the points and plug them into that red formula right there. This is called the slope formula. Very, very, very important formula. So let's try it out. Find the slope connecting those points. So step one is label the points. X sub one, Y sub one, X sub two, Y sub two. I'm going to write out the slope formula in full. I like to write out the formula every time. The slope formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now what I have to do is replace the y sub 1 and the x sub 2s and all of those with the letters that are the numbers rather that I have there. So y sub 2 is negative 4. So instead of y sub 2, I'm going to write out parentheses negative 4. I'm going to write out the minus sign that was there. And instead of y sub 1, y sub 1 is 7. So I'm going to replace y sub 1 with 7. Divided by x sub 2, according to what I labeled, is negative 6. So I'm going to replace x sub 2 with negative 6. I'm going to write out that minus sign. And I'm going to replace x sub 1 with negative 4. Like so. Now I simplify. Negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11. Negative 6 minus negative. Ooh, a double negative. Whenever you see a double negative, make the double negative a plus positive. So negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. I can take it one step further. A negative over a negative is a positive. So negative 11 over negative 2 is positive 11 over positive 2. And that's my answer. Simplify it. Keep it improper. We don't want mixed numbers here. I want to be able to look at that and say, if I were to graph that, I'd put a dot and go up 11 spaces and go right to. Let's do two more, speaking of two. Find the slope connecting the points. All right. I'm going to call you x sub 1, y sub 1. And I'm going to call you x sub 2, y sub 2. I'm going to write out my slope formula, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Instead of y sub 2, I'm going to write out 16 because I called y sub 2 16 up there. Minus is minus. And instead of y sub 1, I'm going to write out 20 because, I'm sorry, not 20, 8, because y sub 1 is 8. If I put 20, that would be a completely wrong answer. Instead of x sub 2, I'm going to write out 9 because that's what I labeled up there. Minus is minus. And instead of x sub 1, I'm going to write out 20. There's my 20. It's also what I said when I found a $20 bill on the floor this morning. <laughs> Just kidding. I only keep hundreds. 16 minus 8 on the top is 8. 9 minus 20 on the bottom is negative 11. A negative divided by a positive, or in this case, rather, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So that simplifies out to negative 8 over 11. 8 over 11 can't change, but that negative can come out. It just looks better that way. One more. One more. Uh, X sub 1 y sub 1, step 1, label your points, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, hmm, interesting, y sub 2. The next step is to write out your formula. m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 
over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 is 8. Minus is minus. y sub 1 is negative 13. x sub 2 is 17. Minus and minus. x sub 1 is 17. Very interesting. Double negative. 8 plus 13 is 21. And 17 minus 17 is 0. What happens when you divide by 0? <gasps> you can't divide by 0. It's undefined. Oh. I wonder if I could have figured out by looking at the original problem that it was undefined. Oh yeah, see how x is 17 and x is 17? If the x's are the same exact number, your slope is going to be undefined. If the y's are the same exact number, if these guys would be the same exact number, then the slope would be zero because the zero would show up on top. All right, well, that's it for slope. Uh, those are some shortcuts to end there. Uh, bye.